What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Aki. Today, as you guys can see from the title, I'm gonna explain why Belgium is a good country for Japanese students to learn English. But first, I'd like you to know a little bit about Belgium. Belgium is a small country in Europe with a population of 10 million people. The official languages are Dutch, French and German. There is no such a language as Belgian, alright? And Belgium is famous for chocolate. You know the popular chocolate brand Godiva? It's actually from Belgium. And people in Belgium love beer. So much so, they drink more beer than water on a daily basis. Just kidding. Anyways, this is Belgium. And back to the main question. Why do I recommend this country for English learning? Two main reasons. First one is its language environment. Actually, many people in Belgium speak English. Especially young generation. They speak English so fluently. This is because Dutch, the most major language in Belgium, is linguistically very close to English. They have similar word spellings and grammatical structures. So English is an easy language for Belgian people to learn. That being said, Native English speakers speak English better than them, of course. Then, what's the point to choose Belgium? The point is that they speak clear and slow English, which is good for Japanese English learners who have difficulty understanding rapidly spoken English. And it goes double for English beginners because people from English-speaking countries speak English really fast with a lot of slangs and accent. When I first had a conversation with an American exchange student in Belgium, I was totally overwhelmed. I couldn't hear a thing, and that means I learned nothing from the conversation. So, when your English level is way lower than that of people around you, it might not be the best place for you to learn English. Of course, in terms of learning real conversational expressions, there wouldn't be better places than English-speaking countries. But the worst scenario is that you get depressed by the gap between your English level and that of native English speakers, lose your motivation, and end up with nothing after one year. That's the worst. So if you feel insecure about your English ability, European countries like Belgium can be one of your options. Second reason is, living in Europe will give you a new perspective on why you learn English. Belgium has a good access to other European countries, so I got to travel to a lot of European countries during my exchange. Before, I was thinking like if you speak English, you can communicate with anyone in the world. But in France, few people speak English. In Italy, I got involved in trouble because a train staff didn't speak English. In Hungary, I was told not to speak English at restaurants, so I couldn't make order what I wanted to eat. Many stories. Don't be too worried, English is spoken in most of the major sightseeing areas. But what I want to say is that in Japan, many people are studying English as if the acquisition of English is the goal. As if like having high English ability is one of social statuses. Actually, I was kind of thinking that way. But after seeing many places where people don't speak English, I started to realize English is just one of the tools to communicate with people. So it was really, I don't know how to put in a word, it was really fresh experience. First, I found it irritating. But I kind of liked it. I mean, you cannot communicate with English. How funny is that? And I want you to experience the same feeling. That's it. So these are the two reasons I recommend you to go to Belgium to study English. But this is just my opinion. I haven't stayed long time in English-speaking countries, and I have no idea what it's like to study English in those countries. So listen to people who did that and make your own choice. I wish you the best of luck. So, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and share it, share it with your friend. Share it with your friend. <coughs> so, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends. And I'll see you very soon in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.